Microsoft just announced the missing link for the Xbox Series X. Welcome back friends. Microsoft just announced a really big deal. And if you're not paying close attention, you might not understand why. And it has to do with this little logo right back here. Microsoft is talking today about what they are calling DirectX 12 Ultimate. Now, you've probably heard of DirectX 12. DirectX 12 is sort of the underlying API infrastructure that makes enabling features for graphics available and accessible to developers. It's a set of tools and frameworks that makes developing games easier. Now, Microsoft has always used the Xbox console as sort of a, a playground, if you will, for DirectX. It was actually called the DirectX Box, like DirectX and then space box, during its development and Microsoft initially, or obviously went with Xbox when it launched. And Xbox has always had a certain feature set of DirectX to help make development on the console easier. But it's always been slightly different than the PC, either just due to timing or feature sets or power or various other reasons but that is all changing with the series x and the next generation of xbox consoles microsoft is releasing direct x12 ultimate as the core feature set of the next generation xbox now what this means is that for next generation uh pc gaming and Xbox gaming, it's gonna be the exact same. It's gonna be one-to-one. -one. If you built it and it works on, let's say just a random Nvidia card is DirectX 12 Ultimate compatible, that feature and that game set will also work on the Xbox Series X. Microsoft is releasing this branding as a, and quote, that they are using, this is their terminology, a future-proof gaming set of technologies to enable things like variable refresh rate, um, ray tracing, and a bunch of other stuff that Microsoft is bringing um, to the Xbox console, like mesh shaders and sampling feedback, it just the new suite of graphical interface components that you're gonna love. You remember how they showed off the Minecraft ray tracing stuff? Like that's, I believe, all DirectX 12U, or Ultimate DX12U is what it's gonna be known as, I'm almost positive compatible feature set. So this is going to be very, very helpful. We've heard the narrative for a while now that Microsoft has always been trying to bring PC and Xbox gaming closer together. And this is how they are doing it. DirectX 12U is that feature set. Now, there's a couple things out there. People are going to have DirectX 12 hardware and think, oh my God, I got to go buy another graphics card. And well, yeah, you kind of got to do. Kind of, you kind of got to do. Good English. Got to do that. So here's the deal. If you buy a game that is DirectX 12U compatible and you have DirectX 12 hardware, you're not going to get those additional features. Now, it will still support DirectX 12. It's backwards and forwards compatible from that way, but you're not going to get that variable refresh rate and the new features that Microsoft is announcing today, unfortunately. So this is a good win for AMD and Nvidia and anybody else selling video cards because now they have a new reason for you to go out and buy that new stuff. But the long tail of this is that for developers, this is a huge win, a monumental win. I really believe that this is going to make building games for PCs and building games for the Xbox Series X so much easier. It's going to make cross-compatibility titles much more common, I believe. And you got to remember, Microsoft is more geared to getting people to gaming while they would love to sell a million uh, Xbox Series X uh, consoles. For them, if there's a million people playing on Xbox or on Windows, it's still a huge win for Microsoft from the gaming perspective. And so what this feature set or DirectX 12 is going to allow them to do is make that much, much, much easier because they're going to have the same APIs. The same tooling is going to be working across generation of PC or cross device of PC and console. And so Microsoft is talking about this. This was part of their GDC, their game developer conference stuff. And so you're going to start to see this branding popping up. Now, Microsoft is hoping to actually use the Series X console to help developers push this way. Because you remember, it's been pretty slow adoption of DX12. It, it, I think Microsoft was hoping that it would be more, I don't know, gung-ho for developers, but it's been slower than I think that they would like. So the goal here is that once the Series X comes out, it is going to be compatible with DX12U it, out of the gate. And so Microsoft is pitching this like, look, as soon as this console launches, everything is going to be compatible with it. So you're going to want to you're going to want to start moving that way because then you get that added benefit of being able to port your game around. It's going to be easier, it's going to be better. And so we'll see if that narrative takes off. I suspect that it will because if you're building a game for the Xbox Series X, Microsoft is hoping that you're also going to bring it to PC, which means hey, why not enable these features because it's an added benefit of something that you can already do. So, you can't I don't want to undersell that how important this is for developers who are building games. Now, the thing is, is because it's being announced now, I'm not exactly sure we're going to see like tons of titles on launch day supporting DX12U. It's going to take time. Developers need this. That being said, it wouldn't surprise me to see Microsoft's first party 
um, studios already supporting it because, hey, they've had access to pre-release bits, and I bet other large studios have as well. But we'll be curious to see how quickly this gets adopted by the mainstream, or third party, I should say, game developer studios. And so Microsoft is hoping that this development suite is going to make it a lot easier to support its console. Now, I'll be curious to see how this relates to PlayStation 5, right? Obviously, that's the outlier here. Uh, if Sony is going to go down this route or not, we don't know yet, but we'll be curious to see how Sony is going to pitch developers on what tooling they should be using for their architecture. Because yes, it is a different console, but let's be real here. They're both being built by AMD. They're both the same family of GPU. It wouldn't surprise me to see if Sony's console is also supporting these style of features. We will find out here in the near future, but DX12 Ultimate is going to be a really big deal for the Xbox Series X. It's laying the foundation for how the games are going to be built and how things are going to work. So keep your eyes open and looking for that. See how developers are going to take care of it. And DX12U is going to be a big deal.